and thank you for joining me. My name is Celeste. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new, then gang gang. Today we're gonna get into what you should know before you go vegan, and if you wanna learn more, then please keep watching. So, you're thinking about going vegan, and it kinda seems a little daunting and scary at first, but here are some things you should think about or look into before you go vegan. The unknown is always scary, so I would say do your research. You know what food you like, you know what food you already eat, you can veganize those foods to make them more, um, so that you're more comfortable that way. Um, there's so many vegan alternatives. There's non-dairy milks, there's butters, there's ranch, there's sour cream, there's cookies. There's so many different things that are vegan that make it a little less scary in order to make your foods and then turn them vegan. So I would definitely look into that. People are always asking, oh, where do you get your protein from? Well, that's really not an issue as a vegan. It's not an issue. And I will put on the screen a list for you so that you can just get a quick little visual. So spinach has protein, a lot of protein. Broccoli, spirulina, beans, duh. Peanut butter, tofu, nutritional yeast, chia seeds, chickpeas, lentils, quinoa. Like there's so many different options for proteins. Protein is not an issue. So don't even worry about the protein part. Next up, since we're talking about protein, we may as well get into B12, which is another thing that people uh, try to deter you from going vegan with. And I would say that that's also not an issue. If you're worried, there's foods that are fortified in B12, and then there's also supplements. I take a B12 uh, little, I'll show you. I take one of those every morning with my breakfast, as well as, well as the vitamin D. Um, just to make sure that that's handled and that's covered and that's not a concern. I would make the argument that being vegan is not expensive. When you go shopping, I'm sure that the meat in your grocery bill is what takes up the bulk of your expenses when you're shopping. When you're vegan, the meat is not a concern. You're not even thinking about the meat. What does get you though are those alternatives I was talking about. So if you're someone who takes comfort in like the vegan bacons or even like I'll even say that the non-vegan equivalent is cheaper than its vegan counterpart. For example, a gallon of milk, a whole gallon of cow's milk at the grocery store, I'll say costs, I'm going to round up and I'll say it costs $3.50. Half a gallon of oat milk would cost you $3.50. It's half a gallon and it's still about the same amount. You see where I'm going? So there is that aspect to it, but I would still argue it's not more expensive. It would be about the same price. So don't let cost deter you from going vegan. It's about the same. It evens itself out. Be comfortable with those seasonings, y'all. Seasonings are very important and the same seasonings you use to make your steak or your rib or your fried chicken or your fish or whatever, you can use those foods and those seasonings as well to make your vegan food more flavorful and taste like the thing. It's not gonna taste exact, cause meat does have a flavor, and so there is that, but you can definitely come very close and so I'll just say seasonings, seasonings. You should also prepare to eat sides because um, I don't know where you're from, but in America, we definitely base our meals off of the meat and then we build off of the meal from there. So let's take Thanksgiving. We just had Thanksgiving. Let's take that for example. So basically we base it around the turkey, right? Or the ham or whatever. And then we'll add our sides. We'll add the macaroni and cheese. We'll add the greens. We'll add the cranberry sauce. We'll add the dressing. We'll add all the other fun little sides. As a vegan, obviously you're not gonna be eating the turkey, but get comfortable making and eating those sides. We had Thanksgiving, we have it all the time, every year. And we just eat the sides, like we're not missing out on Thanksgiving. We'll still eat the greens, the mac and cheese, the dressing, the cranberry sauce, the black eyed peas, the whatever, the cornbread. We'll still eat all of those things. We just veganize them. And so that's what works for us. That's what works. So just get comfortable, it's gonna be very weird to meal plan and not 
have like a center meat to focus on. So just be comfortable with that. Just let you know before you go into it. That's probably going to be something you might struggle with a little bit in the beginning, but it's, it's all good. The feeling of being full or stuffed is absolutely not the same. So close your eyes for a second. You've just finished eating this amazing, delicious, big meal, but now your stomach hurts. Now you're rubbing on your stomach. You're trying to loosen up those belt straps. You're trying to move a little bit, stretch it out, get a little more comfortable. You're getting a little sleepy too, aren't you? You're getting a little sleepy. Whew, but that was a good meal though. That was a good meal, right? Right, except when you're vegan, that feeling of heaviness, you don't get that feeling, really. You don't feel that heavy, weighed down, groggy, just feeling of being stuffed. You do feel full, you get full and, but it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't make you like squirm. You can, you can get to that point, but for the most part, you don't feel uncomfortable and you're able to eat pretty soon afterwards. Your food digests quicker, basically. And so you're able to eat more and not feel uncomfortable when that happens. I would advise, especially in the beginning, to use a weight tracker app of some sort. I used my fitness pal in order to basically get a sense of a pattern of making sure that I'm eating enough calories because meat in and of itself just has a lot of calories. One serving of meat has way more calories than a vegetable. You're probably gonna feel like you're eating all day. You're eating all day, you still might be losing weight though. And it's like, huh, what was happening? I would suggest using a weight tracker app just to see where your patterns lie. Do you need to get up earlier and start eating more? Do you need to incorporate more snacks? Do you need to incorporate more calorie dense foods? I would say just to use a weight tracker app just to make sure that everything is fine and dandy. You may also, in the beginning, feel a little groggy and a little gross, I will say. You feel like you're doing all the good things. You're eating the vegetables, you're eating the fruits. You're, you're vegan, yes. You're vegan, yes, good for you. But why, two weeks into it, am I just feeling like crap? Well, your body is detoxing a little bit. Your body will detox. It has to get used to the new lifestyle. So I would say you might feel a little groggy and disgusting at first, but if you stick with it and move past that point, then you will actually start to feel better. So keep that in mind. It does come to pass. The feeling will not last forever. It's just your body trying to get acclimated to the new way that you're, you're going about things. It is absolutely okay for you to have setbacks. It's okay to go into it and then all of a sudden you succumbed to a craving. It's okay to decide that it's not for you right now. You've tried it for a little bit and, and you just, it's just not, you're just not feeling it right now. It's okay to start slow and not swan dive into it like me. Go into it knowing what you go into it for, whether it's for the environment, whether it's for animals, whether it's for your health, and don't let outsiders sway you or tell you what to do with your body because it's your body, it's your journey. You're allowed to fumble, you're allowed to do whatever you need to do because it's your journey. And with that, thank you so much, you guys. I love you. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Then I have, I have a few vegan-y videos. A few vegan videos if y'all want to check these out right here and um, subscribe if you want more personable likable relatable judge-free content from your girl so I will see you on the next one and y'all have a good day bye guys